Oh hell Biafra. Oh hell IPOB. So I'm making this video concerning yesterday's live broadcast. Because for me, I decided not to reply or say anything to anyone that has nothing good to say about IPOB. But yesterday I was very angry. I was very upset yesterday. I was very angry because some of we Igbos keep making people believe that truly we do not love ourselves, which is very bad. Yesterday's live broadcast, among all the things Mazen Namde Kano said, all some of us could pick is him saying that Atiku is from Cameroon. They are rendering his sword from left to right. Then he used, he said it and you don't believe. Why won't you? Why can't you go make your own research? Even some of our fathers and our mothers are supposed to lecture us or to lecture their children a little bit on Nigerian history. they on Facebook insulting someone fighting for your children's freedom. Since you could not fight for your freedom by yourself and someone came out to fight for you. You are insulting him left and right. We keep telling the world, keep telling people, keep telling, letting our enemies, telling our enemies that we do not love ourselves. They keep using it against, they keep using it against us, telling us we don't love ourselves. How can we get Biafra? Some of our fathers and mothers know the history. Some of them, because they are in one party or the other, collecting change, they won't say the truth. Some are saying, now they believe that Nam the Kalu, they are paying him. Now they believe that he's collecting money from Nigerian government. If Nam the Kalu is collecting Nigerian money, would they go to his house to kill him? No, they will be pampering him. They will be inviting him to Asarok every time. But because he rejected their money, that's why he want, they want to kill him. That's why they are looking for him up and down. That's why they want to kill him. That's why they want to just make sure that he, he stops existing. And you people are here rendering insults on him. really annoying the other day i saw a post of a young a youth a young guy losing one of his leg because he was campaigning for one useless uh, uh, um, party they had an accident one of his leg cut off. Is he going to get his legs back? No. The only thing that will pay hospital bill once the first away, he does not care if he exists. He does not care if someone like you exists. These old fools keep on changing party. This one from APC run to PDP. This one from PDP run to APC. They keep on using your brain. For 50 something years now, you have been voting, nothing has changed. And someone came and told you to boycott election to see if things will change, boycott election so that these people will know that we are serious, to boycott election so that we, these people will know that we really need freedom, we really need to be treated like citizens. And you're labeling him a bad person, Jesus Christ. Ooh. Can't believe this. I replied one yesterday. This is a young girl. A young girl. He was like, she was like, sorry. She was like, eh, he's not fighting for my for my for me and my children. He's fighting for me. That name the Kali is not fighting for her. That he's fighting for me. Yes! 
he's fighting for me since he's not fighting for you why do you want to run out of nigeria why are you traveling where are you traveling to is the place you're traveling to your country i thought your country is okay so why are you traveling some of the youth some of the youth some of them are graduates some of them are much more smarter than graduates you're supposed to be working but due to bad leaders you'll be on the street doing one thing or the other just to survive now tell me if i thought you have good leaders if i thought your leaders are good will you be on the street will you be doing another job apart from what you started no i don't think so You as a graduate, you graduate with connection, you get a little work and you think things are okay. You think that everything now is okay. You think everything now is perfect. One of those that, that, that spent years in the university and they walked all the streets of Lagos and Abuja. That's where they always like to go to look for work and they didn't get. What do you expect them to do? Because you got yours with connection? What do you expect them to do? Those that don't have connection of getting work. Some will even pay. After studying, you will come and some, some people will come and say, give me money, let me help you get work. At the end of the day, you will not get the work. What of those people? Are they not human beings too? Some of you youths, will graduate you will go to this useless devilish people's office begging them calling them sir and every other thing for them to grant you job they will tell you no job and they will no job is no job they will not give you once they tell you no job because someone they reserve that job they reserve that office for one of their friend's daughter or son Once it's election time, they will come out and say, all those ones that have nothing doing, let's go. Let's go and give them little money. You see, all of them will come out to campaign for us. And they will foolishly, shiplessly, shamelessly collect the money and go out to campaign for them. Some of them will even die in the process. Those people that deny you job, those people that have nothing good for you, those people that don't have your interest at heart, will call you to come campaign for them you will shiplessly shamelessly come out to campaign for them and they will keep on doing what they are doing someone came out and tell you boycott election so that all those things will stop and you think that person is a bad person hmm Really sad. Someone said, "Can be." Someone said, "Do not vote." Not everyone. He did not say you must not vote. You are free to go vote. Go vote at your destiny. Go vote at your life. Go vote at your generation destiny and every other thing. On sixteenth of February, it's not our business. We IPOB, we peer friends, don't care. Go out and vote for your death. We are not voting. We want freedom. We want our graduates to get work. We want our graduates to be employed. We want them to practice what they study. We want them to practice what they studied at the university. You can't be a graduate. You graduate, come out, spend years, pay school fees and every other thing and come out. And start hacking. Um, Gala and Lakasara. You graduate, come out and start carrying blocks. We don't want that. We do not want that. So since you think you are in bondage and you cannot come out of that bondage, continue being in your bondage, continue voting. 
we no longer want to be in bondage. We are fighting for our freedom. And that's what we'll get. These old fools will continue going round, 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 round. If they go there, they will come out. Once is election time. That's the only time you see a politician will come out and give people money. That's the only time you see politicians will come out to share rights. That's the only time the these useless people, devilish people will come out and start shouting, my people, my people. Some useless people will be shouting, my governor, my governor. Say baba, say baba. Idiots, they will be raising hand. Useless people. They will be raising hand. Say baba, say baba, because it's uh, election time. The ones who vote, say you voted Buari, those, the, those of you that voted Buari last time. Say he promised for 5,000. He promised job, he promised heaven and earth. What did he say? He can't remember promising any of those things. He can't remember saying all those things. He's back again. What is he doing this time around? What is he promising this time around? The ones he promised the vote, did you see any? He didn't. Useless set of people. They will still go out and vote. They are not sharing rice. <laughs> <laughs> and say, boycott election for these people to know that we are suffering. Boycott election for these people to know that we really need freedom. Boycott election for these people to really know that we matter a lot they can't just come out it's not they won't remember us when anytime is election time anytime election comes that's when they will remember that they have citizens once it's time for election you see them that's the only time you see politicians moving up and down going the whole state going the whole state from state campaigning for you to vote for them that's the only time you see them walking around the whole uh, state in nigeria Buari came out on came on um uh, last time he campaigned he, he his wife followed his wife even fried a car on the street they made a lot of promises he walked around though and all of you voted for him what did he do he even denied some of the promises he said he can't even remember some of the promises he made he went there he what did he do he started traveling from one country to another from one country to another He forgot what he was voted for. He let the job with the work he's supposed to do and start traveling. He start flying around. Oh, wait, wait. Start flying. To even go some of the states, the headsmen are killing people. Nigeria is even hard for him. But he will have the time to travel to UK a hundred times. Have the time to travel all the countries. But the state, the state in the country is he is the president to go there and 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 the and the, and the uh, 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 see the people that is uh, the victims uh, of victims of Funani hates me. It's hard for him. But now it's election time. Look at him. He came to Aba. He go to Enugu. He he have been traveling the whole states in Nigeria for you people to vote for him. When you voted him the first time, the last time you voted him, what did he do? Did he come to the, the states, the way he's traveling to all the states now for campaign? Did he come there the time he won to uh, 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 see the people there? No, he didn't. Now it's election time. All of them are traveling from state to state, state to state, state to state. Once you vote them now, they will forget all the states and be traveling. They will go to Germany, go to Italy, go to uh, 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 UK. Go to um, and they will be traveling all the foreign countries, they will be traveling to it. And you still want to vote these people again? All these old men, all these devilish old men, they will run from PDP to APC, from APC to PDP, from PDP to APC. They will be running round, round, round the same old cargoes. You still want to vote them? What do you think that will change? Vote them, nothing will change. They're only going there to pack the remaining money. The ones that did not, they, they, they didn't have the opportunity to pack. They are going there to pack it. That's what they are going there to do. They don't care if you exist. If you like. One lose uh, his leg. Was it last week? I saw one they posted on Facebook. He was campaigning for one useless uh, 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 party like that. 
they had an accident he one of his leg cut off he lost it the only thing they would do for him now is to pay hospital bill nothing more nothing less if that person finally wins that election he or she would not care if the boy exists they would not care they will not care if that person exists so if you know that you're living okay you're okay in nigeria you're fine what you're doing is fine what the way you're living is fine go vote for we beer friends we are not okay we are not treated we are not we, they don't treat us as citizens so boycott election is must we must boycott election for them to know that we are tired of them for them to know that we no longer want to be in bondage because it's too much we no longer want to be in bondage go vote go do go go vote at your life go vote at your family's life go vote at your generation's life go vote at your future there yeah, go and vote it out Someone that is fighting for your freedom, someone that is fighting for your children and your generations to come freedom, you're insulting the person because the person volunteered. How many?